All right, we have an Infinaray uh, thermal monocular here on the table today. This is, uh, as of this video production, a 2022 late model, late year model, uh, stated to be their entry level monocular series, the AFFO. Uh, this one specifically is the AL19. There's three units within the AFFO line, a 13, 19, and 25. Um, there are differences uh, between them, so please do the research on infrared site. Um, but real quickly, the 13 has a smaller lens, a 256 sensor, and it's 25 hertz, while the 19 and 25 have larger lenses, 50 hertz, um, and they're 384 uh, resolution. So, uh, real quickly, just looking at the unit, uh, what I can tell you, having handled previous year entry-level monoculars from Infrared, uh, this eye box focus adjustment is quite an improvement over the initial uh, or the former models. Uh, it's more robust, it's more positive in uh, feedback, and it's not apt to um, cross thread or, or get messed up. So, very good improvement here on the eye box focus. Uh, the 19 and 25 has a manual front focus on the front lens, which is fantastic for refining your clarity and your focus downrange at various ranges. So for an entry-level monocular, that's key and crucial. Uh, great addition there. Uh, we'll get into these top buttons here quickly, uh, of which there are four. Uh, the top one, uh, for, most forward, is labeled power has a power symbol, then the up button, the menu button, and the down button. Uh, while the unit is powered off, if you press the forward button and hold it, a torch comes on the front. That's handy for locating gear uh, in a vehicle floorboard area or in a hunting blind floor area discreetly. Uh, it's a pretty good torch uh, with a nice uh, throw, so uh, that's a handy little feature built in. Uh, and then once you power up, so I'll hold that for about five seconds, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, I hear a click on the shutter, and I would say within 10 seconds you've got an image through the monocular. So 10 seconds on startup, uh, the battery life for this one is 7.5 hours on a full charge, for which you'd use this bottom port here. It has a USB-C. This cable is just applied uh, with, with the unit. So uh, you have an HDMI over here on the right and then the USB-C uh, there on the left. And then it has a power indicator LED there in the bottom left corner. Uh, when you're charging, if that light turns red, it's needing a charge. And when it turns green, charging is completed. Uh, lanyard connection. Uh, Fantastic improvement over prior entry-level models. Uh, robust, that's part of the housing, so it's not going to break free uh, or get away from you. And it's supplied with this uh, Infinaray strap, which is very nice. On hotkey assignments, there are some hotkey assignments. Let's go through those real quick. Alright, so uh, we powered on already, holding, pressing and holding, and you power off in the same fashion. It is going to give you a three-second countdown in the eyepiece while you're holding that to power off. If you were to uh, press quickly the power button, it'll go into standby mode. Don't press and hold it, but just punch it quickly and the unit has gone into standby. That's going to save you uh, battery life as you're, uh, if you don't have any observations you're actively doing in the field, you can just, without the startup time and need to uh, power up from cold, you can just use standby. So press that power button again quickly and you're automatically up, you skip the startup time. So standby is handy uh, from that regard. Uh, if you press the menu and the front key together at the same time, that will activate your stadiometric range finding. Whereas if you press the forward and back buttons at the same time, that's going to activate hotspot tracking. Uh, and then if you press the menu and the back buttons at the same time, that will give you uh, a calibration in UC, um, which is handy. It does have automatic calibration, uh, but if you want to just double check yourself, you can quickly just press and hold those together for two seconds. You can hear that shutter uh, click and keep your image looking its best. All right, so that's the conclusion of the external 
um, overview of the AFFO AL19. What we're going to do next for this video is put the camera behind the back eyepiece and try to get you uh, some footage of the menu um, of this unit. Unfortunately, when you do video recording, it doesn't pick up any of the menu uh, features, and so I'll try to illustrate it through a menu walkthrough. Uh, to record, you press and hold this back button for about two or three seconds and a timer will come up in the upper right to record video. You can also do it through the app uh, and I may do a separate video on how to connect this to the app and run through those features. Alright, let's do the menu walkthrough. Alright, for the sake of illustration, my camcorder, this is about as close as I can get it to the screen. Um, so it's an occluded view, but I've got it positioned where I need to illustrate the point. So on your main screen, your normal operating mode, you have three uh, data points in the upper left. You have the color palette, the zoom level, as well as the uh, calibration uh, mode that you're in. So right now it should be uh, showing white hot at one times uh, automatic nuke and then over on the right is a time current time and your battery level indicator otherwise the screen is free and clear of any other type of information uh, if you press the front arrow button the up button uh, you'll cycle through the color palettes of which there are five uh, white hot black hot pseudo color red hot and um, target ID mode the target ID mode is going to be a bird symbol uh, which is a variation of white hot. Uh, pressing the menu button quickly is going to cycle your zoom. You see the zoom level changing there uh, in between the color palette and the nuke data point. So you toggle through zoom just simply by pressing the menu key quickly. Alright, and then if I press and hold the menu key that'll bring up our menu. The first uh, icon option is Wi-Fi on or off. Then you have picture and picture, followed by screen brightness, of which there are five steps there on screen brightness. Your calibration modes, and then we have date and time on two different lines, and then your preferred language setting. Right now I have it on English. Uh, you get to the second page, you can restore to factory default settings with that one or get some information off the unit such as uh, product number, hardware number, firmware number, etc. Uh, so a pretty straightforward menu. Um, again, this doesn't record on the onboard recording, uh, but I find myself using the screen brightness uh, and the picture in picture and Wi-Fi most often uh, out of the menu. Uh, when you connect to Wi-Fi, you hit the menu button once to select that and it, it's going to give you the security key that you'll enter into your device that you're connecting to the Wi-Fi for a brief period there. So that's pretty handy in the sense that you don't have to uh, try and remember that or write that down. It'll prompt you with what the security key is there on the Wi-Fi. Picture-in-picture picture is a nice addition for uh, perhaps some of that extended viewing and it gives you a box there to kind of illustrate what the picture-in-picture picture window is um, giving you enhanced zoom on uh, as opposed to corners of the screen or lower part of the screen. It gives you a guide of where to point the monocular to get the picture-in-picture picture use. All right, so that's the menu walkthrough. Appreciate you tuning into this video. Hopefully it helps you with your uh, research on these new models, the AFFO series. This is the AL19. Uh, we'll do some more tabletop style videos and then I'll turn this over to Carpe Seuss and he will show some videos uh, of use in the field.